Hey guys, in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to make a selection drop down panel as well as an example use case at the end of the video. First off, I would like to say that we will be using Discord.js version 13, not using, uh, we're not going to use some external packages. Discord.js version 13 is not officially out yet, so to get the features, we need to install them from the master branch. So to do this, we actually need to open up our terminal, terminal open terminal, and then we need to do npmi Discord.js at dev. Okay, once you did that, um, you should be able to get all of those latest features. All right, do you run it again in case that the package is already, there's a new version. So let me just show you guys what I mean by that. So if you do npm view discord JS, okay, you just want to make sure that this version over here matches your uh, package .json, package.json version in here. So if it's not the same with here, you just got to run npm i discord JS at dev again to get the latest updates. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the selection panel. So let me just do select, select OJS. All right. So I'm going to start out with the exclamation mark DJS. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the selection panel. So I'm going to teach you guys how to create a selection panel. So in here, we're just going to require two things from Discord JS. So const, uh, we're just going to require Discord JS. Okay, and then we're going to require um, message, action row, as well as message, uh, select menu. Okay, so um, we're going to come down here and then uh, we're going to do the same thing as well, like the previous video. So content will be uh, the selection and then the row components, I mean, it's going to be an array. All right, so this is actually going to uh, receive the, it's going to take in the action row message action row. So we're just going to do const row equals to new message action row. All right. So this is used to add components into the uh, message channel stand, which is over in here. Okay. So next we can add the components. So we can just do add components in here. We're going to pass in the select menu or you can add a button as well. So in here, I'm just going to do new message select menu. Mess select menu. All right. So let's move on to the properties now. So we're going to set a custom ID first. So we can just do set custom ID and then we're just going to do a uh, test subject. Okay. So whatever you want. And then uh, we're going to set a placeholder. So set placeholder and then a placeholder is basically a default text that you will see if nothing was chosen yet. So the default text is uh, going to be choose something. All right. And then um, I'm going to add options, add options. Okay, so in here, it's going to take in an array of options. So let's move on. Okay, so for the options, there's a few options. So first thing, label. Uh, it's going to be uh, the text that is going to display it on the, on the option. So here is where this add options is where we basically add our selection or choices. So for the first one, I'm just going to say the first option. Okay, and then next, uh, there is a value. So let me just select, set the value as first option. Or we can just make it first. And then uh, we're gonna ha have a description. So we're just gonna do uh, this is the first option. And then uh, next, we're gonna have a emoji option. So we can add any om emoji we want. So in this case, I'm gonna add the one emoji. Okay, let me just add that. And then lastly, we have the default. Okay, so basically default is uh, if this is automatically selected, so I probably won't need this. So I'm just going to remove default. So let me save this and let me just add this, uh, this action row inside the components and let's just test this out. All right, so make sure to set a command name as well. So I'm just going to set this command name to select. All right, so now I'm on Discord. So let's just test this command out. So if I try to run select, it's going to give us, this is the choose something, which is going to be the placeholder over in here. And then the ID of this is going to be the test subject and the options is going to be the first option. And then we can add several options. So let me just do that right now. Let me just add uh, two of these and then we can just change it to second, change this to second as well. And then uh, we can change it to second option. And then we're going to change the emoji to second, or we can just do two. Okay. It's over here. So you can just click on that. Okay, so this is going to be the third option. Uh, this is going to be third. And then uh, you can change this to third as well. 
as well as this, we're going to just change it to number 3. Okay, so this is already options, and then uh, we can actually try to set this as disabled. So let me just show you guys. Set uh, disabled. So if I do set disabled true, it's not going to allow us to use this selection panel. So if I try to run uh, select again, see, as you can see here, it doesn't allow me to click anymore. So if uh, there's two more options that I would like to explore or show you guys is the max values as well as the set min values. So basically, as you can see here, um, set min value is basically the amount of things you need to select. So the, the minimum amount of things that you need to select for it to register. And then the set, set max values is basically the, um, the maximum amount of things that you can choose from. So uh, I'm not going to touch on that. You can just experiment this by yourself. So this is how you create a, a selection menu. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. You know, let me just remove this, set disabled. So let's move on to the next part of the video, which is registering and responding to the selection events uh, using events. So let me just head on to interaction create event. So if you don't know what this is, this is an interaction create event. I have it in my, in, uh, my event handler. So it's basically just client on interaction create, and then we have the interaction over here. So this is pre the previous uh, button interaction. So now we're gonna check if it's a select menu. So we can do that by doing if interaction dot is select menu. All right. So you're gonna make sure that it's a select menu, and then we can just console the log uh, interaction. Okay. So we can show you guys what's going on, uh, and then we can just use the options inside the log itself. So let me just do that, select, and then uh, let me just choose a, the second option. So let me just say, I choose the second option and it's gonna say this interaction failed because I never defer and never do anything about that. So let me open terminal and let me just show you guys what's going on. So this is the message that we reacted on. And then as you can see here, the values is second. So if I go back to Visual Studio Code, okay, it's gonna pass in every time it's going to pass in values, which is going to be the value in, over in here. All right. So we can actually do something really simple. So we can just do interaction, interaction, the reply, and then we can just pass in content will be the, uh, we can just do you chose and then we can just pass in interaction dot, um, values. Okay. We're going to choose the first option. So you can just do this. It's really simple. All right. So if I go back to Discord and I try to use the first option, it's going to say you chose first. Uh, if I do second option, you choose second. And if I do third option, you choose third. All right. So uh, some of the people in the last video asked me, how do I remove this? How do I remove this uh, reply thing over in here? Okay. If you want to remove this, it's really, really simple. Just go back to your code and then you want to do interaction. Dot defer. Okay, you just want to defer it. Uh, let me just do await in here just to be safe. And then we, instead of replying, we can just do interaction dot channel dot send. And then we can just send the content in here. And pass this in here and then we can just remove this. So if I, try, if I save this and I try again, let me just create a new selection so it looks a little better or not. What's going on? Okay, starting up. All right, so let's just try this again. So I'm going to select, and if I choose the third option, it's going to say you chose the third option. Um, okay, we can actually change this. All right, my bad. So it shouldn't be defer. It should be defer update. So let me just change this back. So if I go back in here, I'm going to change defer to defer update, and it should remove the thinking text, and it would uh like. You're just gonna ignore that. So let me just try this. If I save this and let me just check if the it's ready. Let me just string that. Perfect. And then we can just do run select. Okay, and then in here, if I choose the first option, it's gonna send you chose first without the reply thing over here or the thinking thing over here. And then we can choose the third option and choose the second option. Alright, so this is how you handle events uh with I mean, you handle the selection menu with events. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how to use a interaction component collector. So let me show you guys how to do that. So um, for this project, I'm just going to make it so that 
there is two options. First option is going to be subscribe to Recon. And then the second option is going to be unsubscribe to Recon. All right. So if you click on the first option, it's going to say you are a good person. And if you click on the second option, it's going to say you are a bad person. So this is just an example. Okay. Um, so yeah, I will just show you guys how to do that. So let me just remove everything. So we have a clean project. Okay, so the first thing we do is we're gonna do the same thing. Cons row equals to new message action row. And then we have the add components in here. We're gonna set a new select menu with this. And then we can just do set custom ID will be select menu or whatever it is. I'm just gonna do test. All right, and then uh, we're gonna set a placeholder. And I'm just gonna do please choose an option. And then we can just do add options. Um, and then you can just do label. I'm just going to do subscribe to recon and then the description. Do you want to subscribe to recon? And then lastly will be the value, which will be passed in. So we're just going to do a, you are a good person. Okay. So this is the value. And then for the next option, we're going to make an option for unsubscribing. So label, um, unsubscribe from recon and then we're going to have the description as um do you want to unsubscribe from recon and then lastly we have the value which is you are a bad person so this is just an example okay don't hate me for this okay next we can define a filter for the collector so let me just do that real quick Okay, so let me just send the message so that you can just do message or channel the send. So let's just test this out first so that uh, if you have any problems, you can troubleshoot it easier. So this is the, oh, one more thing. You can actually set, you can actually send embeds as well. So let me just define an embed real quick. New message embed, set title. Oops, it should be set title. And then we can just choose, choose an option. All right, and then we can actually, instead of doing content, you can just do embeds and you can just pass in an array. It's gonna be embed. All right, so we're gonna send the uh, row as well by doing uh, components and then we can just pass in row in here. All right, perfect. And then let's just test this out. So if we go back to Discord and then let me just check terminal. Okay, perfect, it's on. I do exclamation mark select. As you can see here, this is an embed. You can customize the embed however you want. All right, so if I choose, there's two options. Subscribe to Recon, unsubscribe from Recon. Okay, that's actually perfect. So let's move on to creating the event. So if you, if I do something like this, um, let me just remove the event so it doesn't interfere with our collector. Move this. All right, so if I choose an option, it's, gonna, it's just going to say interaction has failed because we now handle the interaction. So I'm going to show you guys how to handle it right now. So const filter equals to a filter. Okay, so we want to make sure that interaction uh, dot is button. So you can do that by doing, uh, we need to pass in interaction in here, interaction. Okay, and then let me just go back in here. So you can just check in case I typed anything wrongly, is select menu. So let me just copy this. Okay, and then we want to make sure that it's a select menu. What, why is it doing that? Okay, we want to make sure it's a select menu. Um, and then uh, we must make sure that the interaction the user ID is equals to message to author ID. So we can do that by doing interaction, the user the ID is equals to interaction, oops, message the author the ID. All right, so this is the filter. And then next we're gonna create a, con a collector. So we can do const collector equals to message dot channel the create a uh, message component collector. And you just pass in the filter like this. And then next will be um, the options. So we can just set a option to max, which is gonna be five. Okay, we only can accept, okay, let me just do two. So you can only accept two times. Okay, and then uh, once it's collected, so let, let me just do this. Cons collector, oops, I mean collector, the on, collect, so, okay. So once someone has interacted, it's gonna fire this event. So let me just do async collected, okay. And then uh, in here, 
it's definitely a select menu because we already filtered it out in here. So if it's a, okay, let me just console log this out so you can see what's going on in here. So console log collected. All right, and then let me just go back in terminal, discard, and then if I do exclamation mark select, Okay, and then if I do subscribe to recon, and I bring up the terminal, it's gonna say interaction failed because I haven't handled it yet. So this is basically the same thing that is happening with the um, events. Okay, so it's not in the collection, so you can directly use the interaction of defer. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Interaction. Okay, we're gonna define the ID first. So const ID is equals to collected. Oh, it actually, it's called values. I don't know why I did ID. Const, const value equals to collected dot. Uh, let me just check it again. Collected values. And then we want to get the first string, which is going to be uh, at zero. All right. So we can actually console the log value. And let me just show you guys. It actually works. Save this. All right. And if I go back to Discord and check the terminal if it's ready. And then you can test the command out. Okay, so select. And then if I choose the subscribe to recon, it's gonna lock you are a good person. And if I uh, choose unsubscribe from recon, it's gonna choose you are a bad person. So we can actually just send the value. So we can just do uh, interaction, I mean collected dot defer update. Okay, so basically it just removes uh, as I shown you earlier, it's going to do something like this. Let me just show you. Um, okay, it's going to just do this. Okay, so we don't want to see this message. So you can just do this. Collect the defer update. Okay, once we've done that, we're just going to do interaction. Dot channel, dot send. And then we can just send um, the content, which is going to be va a value. Okay, so let me just try this out. So if I go to the terminal select and if i choose the first option it's going to send or not let me just check the errors interaction is not defined of course it should be collected okay so let me just restart the bot again check if it's ready okay so select okay and then we can just subscribe to recon you are a good person unsubscribe from recon it's going to say you are a bad person if i try to react again if i use it again it's going to show this and it's just going to say interaction failed because i already set the max value where is it the max value to only accept two okay so this shouldn't be in a string i don't know why it did string it should be a number but it still works if you put it in a string it still works but it accepts a number all right so that should conclude today's video on the selection menu if you have any questions feel free to join the support server links will be in the description if you want to watch any more Discord just tutorials, feel free to click on the playlist that you can see on the screen right now. Other than that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye!